Hey everybody, Barb Schaffern from Schaffern Herbals here, live in my front yard in front of my newly blooming forsythia bush. So I wanna tell you all, if you live in Southwestern Pennsylvania or wherever you may live, if your forsythia are blooming, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to pick the flowers. Let me show you just. These are buds, but you're gonna to wanna to pick the flowers, just pick them off of the stem, put them on a cookie sheet in a single layer to dry. After about four or five days, put them in a mason jar with a lid. And if you get any kind of viral lung infection, like COVID, um, the Chinese have used forsythia to help fight viral lung infections because forsythia is one of 26 herbs um, three in the U.S. being forsythia, chrysanthemum flower, and licorice root. Uh, forsythia flower, chrysanthemum flower, and licorice root. Those three, there's 26, but a lot of those um, are in China and we can't get here. So those three plants um, all have compounds in them that keep proteins from replicating in a virus. So it keeps the virus from growing. So um, that's according to some Chinese research I found on uh, sciencedirect.com. Um, it was a study that showed 26 herbs and how they help viral lung infections. I will search for it and put the comment here, put it the source in the comments. So pick your forsythia flowers, free medicine, um, oh, and to use it, you're going to put about a tablespoon of the dried flowers in a cup, in a mug, and then fill it with eight ounces of boiling water. Let it steep for 10 minutes, and then you can drink that tea. You can drink it every day as kind of a prophylaxis or a preventative measure. Um, and if you get sick, um, not that I'm diagnosing, treating, prescribing, or curing any disease, I'm just telling you that Chinese people have done this and that I have seen studies where people have been doing this. I'm not telling you to do it. Um, that would be against the FDA Act of 1906 since I would be prescribing. So I'm not doing that, but I'm telling you, you may want to get some forsythia flour, dry it, keep it. Um, and if somebody gets sick with a viral lung infection, they could take the, the, the tea a couple of times, um, maybe every couple of hours, something like that, since I can't really be specific. So forsythia, blooming, nature's medicine, viral lung infections, pick some, dry some, Story. Barbara Schaffern signing off from Schaffern Herbs.